Yeah. Season 1 through about... I think, honestly, season 1 through 3. Season 1 through 3, they were only balancing the game. And starting from season 4, they started adding some stupid stuff in. And season 5 was the worst. They made the jungler to be able to smite the champion. Now that's like straight up forcing right there to make a jungler to change the game. And season 8 was basically League of Legends 2. Yeah. Kinda sucks. Welcome to and that's one of the main reasons why League of Legends highest pick was a season 3. Starting from season 4, uh, people are starting to leave in the game. Swarm. Cause like the, the way that you can see the way that you can see like how they are forcing the meta is like when the things are balanced when the things are balanced yes, they are trying to change something from it so let's say this game is currently balanced next patch they're gonna add something when they're removing something that is already balanced to make some I don't know Make it more fun, but it's not really fun. <laughs> Yo, I can't really... I don't know about this game. Yeah, I'm just gonna go top. Hopefully Karma can help. That's gotta sting. Why don't you just start on your side, man? I guess I'm gonna have to start pushing. In. First nice. Man. Yeah. That's the strength of the karma. Pre 6 still gets evolved. Yeah, I'm, I'm hard pushing because they don't have a jungler. And they don't have a jungler like this. You can just play the way that you like 24-7. I guess Kane's decision was good. Well then.
Okay. Did anyone order the red buff here? I didn't order the red buff, but they... They got wrong address. This is a Diamond 2 solo queue, ranked. Any surprise? Jax is winning.
And this is why League of Legends right now is a 100% coin flip. Jungle versus the jungle. Even like last game where we had a Lee Sin jungle versus their Kindred jungle, our Lee Sin is farming 24-7 as Kindred is ganking 24-7. It's fun, huh? It's fun. This game is hella fucking fun. And Riot wants us to play this way. Every game's are coin flips. And this is why I don't want to play around a challenger either. This challenger is not that different. Challenger is actually like more of this. Yeah. Even if you're losing by 50 CS, even if you're losing by 10 kills in the top, it doesn't matter. As long as your jungler is better than any jungler, you can just take the win. The impact that you can pull off in this game is just so low as a top laner. I mean, more like as a, a non-meta champion that is. Rampage. But anyways, um, after this game, let's make a new account. Yeah. I forgot, this is why I don't play in the high tier. Winning this way? Is it fun? I don't know. To me, this is not fun. It gets worse and worse. A lot of people think that, oh, in high tier, this will get better. Nah, in this season, it gets worse. Yeah. If you get a little bit higher tier, then you get to see like even the win trader, actual win traders. For example, Tarzane. I don't have mana for Q. I missed the drama. Could someone give me what is win trade? Win trade is like your paint the enemy team to um, intentionally lose a game for it. So let's say that I know one of their player. Let's say their Zach is, Zach, their Zach is my friend. The Oh, I know the, who Zef, Zef Hon is. And I'm gonna go into my Discord and say, Hey, if you lose a game for me, I'm gonna to pay you 10 bucks. And he's gonna say, Oh, sure man. That's a win trade. Drama of the league? Yeah. It's not a drama, honestly. At that point, it's just business of the league, is a better way to put it. Win trade is more popular with um, boosters. Boosters tends to do that. Because boosters, if you make certain account to the challenger, 
like from where you start but usually you can get you used to get about thousand dollars yeah close to thousand that you can get you can sell for it or you can straight up boost someone's account for it and you know so like if you pay a 10 bucks for like to do so then you can get easy wins. I'm already getting a thousand dollar for this, so why why don't I just pay a ten bucks for him to lose a straight up game auto win? Shut down. Do we come? Oh, oh got it. But right now, for the Tarzan situation, is oh my God, you missed that! Oh, never mind, you got it. He's he's not doing for the boosting for sure. He's just boosting his own account to be rank one. <laughs> because rank one means that he gets more viewers generally, and which is the money. Yeah. To hit the rank one, he pays people to lose a game, and he's being rank one means that he's getting more viewers. Means that he's just getting more money for it. That's basically what happens with that. At least Riot banned him for it, instead of just completely ignoring it. Right? At least the patches, the L play system, they had a number inverted so the higher rank Shut you were, down. the more L play you got instead of less. Is that how that works? Because I kind of felt that way on my challenger accounts too. I thought my MMR was just really fucking good. But that's not true though. Yeah, there's a lot of flaws in the MMR system. The yellow system. I don't know. Riot is just... I can understand that thing. It's like... Their business is definitely dying, that's why. If their businesses are okay, then they would try to make a fair games. But... Feels bad, man. <laughs> I honestly, I don't want to like shit talk about the writers, but I honestly think that they have too many unnecessary workers in their company. 
the workers that doesn't really work. Thank you.